Hey there, it's your friend John from Excel Campus. So I just wanted to let you know about this free webinar that's going on right now on Excel dashboards. My friend Minda Tracy from my online training hub is putting on this free hour long training on how to create this dashboard right here. So you're basically gonna take this raw data set, you're gonna start with this raw data set and learn how to create this dashboard out of it with all these awesome analytics. And you're gonna learn how to use slicers and pivot tables and pivot charts. So I scroll down here, we even have some formulas and spark lines. So all these components that go into building an interactive dashboard in Excel, you'll learn these throughout this training. And it's absolutely free, so I highly recommend you check this out. And you can register at the link right below this video. I'll put a link down there so you can click there and get registered. The event is only going on until December 15th. That's next Thursday. So make sure you get registered up pretty quick here. And I also want to share one of my favorite dashboarding tips with you as well. So uh, whenever I'm working with dashboards, or we're always working with a lot of different objects here. You can see in this particular dashboard, we have uh, charts and pivot tables and slicers and all these different objects. And it's sometimes difficult to line these objects up and get them aligned perfectly. So one little tip is holding down the shift key when you're moving an object. So right here I have this chart and let's say I wanna move it over to the left a little bit. If I just left click and hold and start moving it, it's kind of hard to keep it aligned. It was already aligned to the top of that other chart. But if I hold down the shift key now while I'm moving this, it lines up and stays aligned to that top alignment there and I can just move it left and right. So that's a quick way. You can also move it up and down and it'll stay aligned to its original alignment there. So just hold down that shift key when you're moving objects and that'll make it a little easier. Now, if it's difficult to get that uh, object aligned to the left there, if you wanna line it up with this chart right here, you can also use a set of alignment uh, features on the format tab. So if I left click and hold this uh, chart and then hold down the shift key or the control key and select this chart, now I have multiple objects selected and go up to the format tab on the ribbon and under this align menu here, there's all these alignment options. So I just wanna align these left and now my two charts are aligned perfectly to the left there. So just quick little tips for aligning your objects there. There's actually two tips. I said I was gonna share one and there's two, but uh, using that shift key can really help you keep those objects lined up. So again, go learn how to create this entire dashboard. There's a free webinar going on right now. And again, the link's below the video to get registered for it. And uh, I hope to see you there. Minda's a great teacher and uh, you'll, I'm sure you'll learn a lot in this free training. So thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.